Hey all, this is Robin with Heroes Legend Studios and bringing you another tutorial on switches. So I'm going to start off, I've seen so many times that so many RPG Maker developers don't understand the basics and or maybe there's no really good place to learn the basics of RPG Maker. And so I'm using MZ, but this should apply to previous versions such as MV and VX Ace but if there's any issues with some of the older versions let me know uh, but I'll be using MZ so we're gonna learn about switches so what is a switch you'll see in your event editor here there's these conditions and another important part to know is that these conditions here will initialize and they're the conditions required for your event to launch so if you only have one page in this event um, torchlight id6 then and you have some switches that are on or some variables set and they don't meet that on the page load or the map load then this event's never going to launch so you gotta be careful of what you set here on page one or the beginning pages of any of your events. So let's get into what switches are. So I think the best way to think about a switch is in programming terms, it's a Boolean or it holds an on off value or a true false value. So I typically recommend that people say Think of it as a question. So for our scenario, I typically write mine as is day. Is it day? Is it nighttime? So if it is day, that means it's a true statement and the lights should be on. These fires should be out. This torch should be out because why would we have a torch on during the day? So want that to be true. Also, you can type this however you want is day is it day you don't have to spell it any kind of way um, as long as you understand that this variable is meant for one specific pur purpose and is it on or off and so is it daytime so we'll name it is it daytime and apply hit OK so let's create a new page and what we want is when it is uh, daytime we want to have this value so let me delete that real quick I'm gonna copy and paste so when it is daytime we're gonna have this off okay and if it's not daytime we're gonna change this image to uh, to have a uh, actual torch light so let's find this torch light here it is and to get this animating we're gonna change this to steppy okay so page two is gonna be walking you don't really need walking uh, it's not really gonna do anything so we don't need to change the trigger and maybe I'll come up with a new tutorial that explains all these items here a little bit better uh, but today we're just gonna stick to what is a switch <clears throat> so during the day it's going to just show this little torch light and during nighttime it's going to just animate this fire just naturally as it's a stepping animation and these are stepping animations so they go left to right and and loop back and forth they kind of ping pong so and someone doesn't know what those animations are so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and I'm gonna go copy these here so if we understand our events uh, since this is going to be false since all switches start off false or off uh, we won't see this and it'll be nighttime so what we what I like to do is when I create a new map I have starting values events so here this is going to be an auto run event and these are the starting values of the map so 
I'm going to go to control switches and is it daytime? Yes. And then I'm going to do a self switch to A. Okay. New page, self switch is A. So we're just going to talk about switches today, not self switches. Okay. Uh, and they are different. Okay. Slightly different. Uh, so that will auto run. It will set our daytime to two on and jump to the next page so we can get rid of that auto run event now what we need to do now that it's on we can go ahead and run this and we can see that they're going to appear the fire you're going to see the fire first and then it's going to go off let's change this real quick as so much as i like <laughs> the sounds they are always so loud. Uh, so, okay. So, perfect. They started off. I was, I was worried that they were gonna start on and then we'd see them flicker off, but they did not. Perfect. So they're gonna start off because it's daytime. So how do we change it to nighttime? Well, I'm just gonna add a quick variable in here. Uh, switcher sign. And. I'm going to show some text. And we're going to do something simple. Um, let's keep that. I want to create a Boolean that's going to tell me if this switch is on or not. Is it daytime? Yes, we'll turn it off. If it's uh, not on, so is it daytime is off, in the else branch, then we turn it back on. So, is it daytime? Is it nighttime? So, what we want to do here, and say switching, turning is it daytime? Switch to off and we'll see that here it's going to control switch we let's turn that off we actually still have to do that uh, doesn't work ma automatic magically and then we're going to tint the screen so we get a little bit more effect so tint screen I'm gonna go dark okay. then what I like to do is just copy and paste, and again, I'm just going to copy and paste this. This makes it a little bit easier, and then I just press spacebar, and I can edit. Turning is it daytime, switch to on. Makes things a little bit easier. And then just spacebar again, and we turn it on, and spacebar again, and we're going to go to normal, and we bring that tint right back. And I want to see this event a little bit more noticeable. So I'm going to find a little bit item that kind of like makes it kind of pop out a little bit more. Let's see if there's some kind of little sparkle. Here we go. We can have something like this that just appears on the sign. Change that to stepping so we can see it. It's on action button. Same as characters. So we should be able to click that right away. So let's go ahead and press this, hit play the game. And so everything's off, it is daytime. And now we can press this sign and it says turning, is it daytime, switch to off. Now we can see all these torches come on. You can see that one down there. And it's tinted the screen. And now we can go back to the sign, turning is it daytime switch to on. So I think that's the best way to use these switches is to understand that they are on off states or true false statements. And that's the best way to kind of think about that. So I hope you enjoy this quick and easy tutorial. And if you have any questions, uh, please comment in uh, on the video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And 
Of course, always I'm still doing uh, Unity streams on my Twitch channel, but I will try to get back into RPG Maker MZ and developing more tutorials like this uh, in the future. So thanks again for watching, and much love. See you.